today we're about to go through the half of book of Daniel in like three or four minutes. <laughs> All right. So Daniel was captured along with his uh, three friends from Judah. He was brought in front of a king. So basically what the king wanted to do is he picked men. He picked men out of nobles, picked men out of royal family. And the four of them, they were brought from the same uh, city. And so the king wanted to get the fittest man, the best, the wisest man. And out of them, there was Daniel and three other guys. So within the story, uh, the king provided the best food for everybody who's in the three-year training to serve under the king. Daniel rejected food. He said, I don't want to defile myself, myself with the king's food. The steward said, well, I can't do that because if I bring you in front of the king and you don't look good, he's going to kill me. <laughs> Daniel said, or Daniel still insisted, he thought of a different way, and he was not eating the food along with his three other friends. And God showed, in fact, favor unto the steward and the people who are in charge of the four of them so that they may be able to do that. So as the story goes on, we have the three of her friend, his friends. A king made a rule that when there is a, I don't remember, is a bell or a siren rings, like a sound goes on, they have to all worship an idol that the king has created. So the three friends did not do that. So then some people came to the king and they said, listen, these guys are not doing this. And you said, whoever is not doing this is going to be thrown into a fire pit. So the king came and asked them, is this true that you guys are not worshiping the idol I created for you? And they said, oh, they actually didn't say anything. He said, is it true? And so he said, if yes, I will throw you into the fire pit. And all they said was, to paraphrase, they said, if it is so, throw us into the fire pit and God will deliver us. So then the story goes on. Now Daniel, king again makes, or uh, Daniel gets to the top, almost by the king. And, and this is a long story. It's like five, six chapters long. So just bear with me for a second. <laughs> so Daniel, he is now brought in front of the king. And the king says, made a decree also that if anybody bow or if anybody prays within the 30 day to anybody else other than the king they will be thrown into the dance of the lions his friends made the decree to set him up and what happened is daniel was thrown into the dance of the lions and he came out alive so i'm going to shift the focus just a little bit and i'm going to get something so this is a donut it was it was at its full glory until i sat on it Beautiful. It was two for one at Fred Myers, by the way. Just a free advertisement. They're bomb. Anyway, <laughs> I had one. So this is a donut. I got this donut, or this donut came from, I think it was like 876 Lime Street uh, Boulevard, Seattle Northeast, or Seattle 8732, something like that. Zip code. Anyways. So this donut, I do two things with them. I can tell you about how great this donut tastes, or I can share the taste of the donut with you. Now, if I share the taste of the donut with you, I tell you how great this donut is, that you should be not flat, you're going to want to go out and get that donut yourself because it's so great. However, I just told you guys the street address where I got the donut. Does that, can anybody else, can anybody recite it? Is there a single, what is it? So <laughs> I actually don't remember. I Google for my. I actually don't remember because I made it up. But the the point is, if I tell you about this donut, you're gonna want to go out and chase the donut, or you're gonna want to go out and fight the donut, find the donut. But chances are, if you just forgot the address, you're not gonna be able to find the donut because you don't know where to look. Now, if I shared the donut with you, and you're gonna forget where the donut came from, 
or even about the donut at all but if I share the donut with you if I give you a bite of this donut you're gonna love it so much that you're gonna chase it everywhere and all around until you find it and if you look everywhere I'm sure you'll find it if anybody wants it raise their hands yeah yeah you want it I saw you raise your, are you sure okay it, it was wrapped up when I sat on it <laughs> okay you got it Woo! <laughs> it's bomb I, I'm, I, I'm not kidding it's very good now I want to turn to Matthew 8 5 6 7, I'm kidding okay Matthew 5 first person says I'm here I'm gonna read it I'm, I'm just gonna read the whole our story very quickly I'm gonna paraphrase what happened okay now when Jesus had entered Capernaum a centurion came to him pleading with him saying Lord my servant is lying at home paralyzed dreadfully tormented and Jesus said to him I will come and heal them the centurion answered and said Lord I am not worthy that you should come under my roof but only speak a word and my servant will be will be healed for I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me, and I say to this one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my servant, do this, and he does it. It goes on and on, and then Jesus says to the centurion, go your way, and you have been, and you have believed, so let it be done for you. So the centurion basically a perfect story certain came to Jesus and he had faith that Jesus can heal with a single word and because of the centurion's faith uh, his servant was healed now I'm gonna tell you another real life story uh, a guy told me about this so I'm not gonna mention anybody's name uh, so this guy uh, also does flooring he is, yeah, all my friends do flooring, <laughs> kidding. He has a helper who damaged the property. So basically what he told me is that he opened the door that was electric and the entire, like, you know how you peep into the door and the door opens? The entire, like, electricity just ripped out of the door. It damaged the baseboards, the wall, I mean, crazy. And so the supervisor runs from the property and he calls, hey, wow we're kind of screwed here <laughs> this is going to have to be paid for and this is expensive because it's electricity that goes all the way into the wall so my friend is or not my friend his friend or his worker is like to my friend he's like oh man what should I do what should I do and uh, my friend says to him eh, don't worry if anything I have insurance but it'll all be fine and so was, and he tells me that when they both got into the car he asked them well, dude, we're really, what, what can I do? And so my friend says, uh, you know what, let's pray. And so they pray, they pray, and my friend, in his prayer, he says, God, in Jesus' name, please, please show us that you're a living God, because his helper uh, wasn't a Christian. So he says, please show us that you're a living God. And so the helper also prayed. He says, God, I want to see the situation being fair. If I do deserve it, then charge me. If not, then not. And so the next morning, they go to the same place, the same building to finish up the job. And the maintenance runs down and he says, hey, guys, you guys are off the hook because we're going to change the entire door anyways. And so th this little thing that my friend pray prayed was, God, show him that you're a living God. And through a situation this little, my friend asks his helper, he says, hey, so why do you think this happened? And the friend says, oh, because God, we prayed. So through something this little, my friend prayed for God to show his helper that he's a living God. And God did so without any question. And so he could have told about Jesus. But it's not the same thing as showing him how Jesus is. Like the actions of Jesus. And if we go back into the story of Daniel, the purpose why I read it is... Number one, Daniel first showed, shows faith. And throughout the book of Daniel, they don't share about Jesus. 
they, they step out and they go for it and then the people around them when they see what Jesus does in their life they see God is real so first Daniel shows faith it says that Daniel proposed in his heart and proposed in his heart not to defile himself with the king's food so he goes on in faith and he says hey I will not eat food and God says and God puts favor into the people who are in charge of him and he does not eat the food God then rewards him and his friends with gifts now faith number two is when his friends were thrown into a burning fire pit here's what they said if that is the case our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fury fairness they didn't speak oh here's who our God is they showed they said if that is the case look what my God can do when the king saw them come out of the furnace and the Bible says that not a single hair of on their head was touched he said blessed be the God of these men and faith number three when Daniel came out and he started to pray when the law came out and says you cannot pray Daniel opened up his windows he prayed towards the city three times a day he was taken into the dance of the lions the Bible didn't say that he said anything he was thrown into the dance of the lions and here's what the king said after he came out for he is true living God what God spoke to me when I was reading Daniel is you know I, ha I had my own kind of thought of hey how can we share God how can I share tell somebody about but God and the only thing I could come up with the only thing going through my head was hey communication hey speak to him speak to him and then God, God says Igor look let me take you through Daniel he took me through Daniel and and what God showed me is that sharing faith is not just communications just like that donut which I can give you tell you about you can you, you you can remember what it tasted like from my from my description but you will forget it because you don't know what, what what I'm talking about but when you experience the taste of the donut you're gonna want to chase that donut and faith can be shared in the same exact way just as the my, my friend he shared his faith by literally sharing he said God show him your living God in the name of Jesus show him your living God and that faith was shared it wasn't just talked about it was actually shared because it actually happened the book of Daniel when when you read it it it, it, it shows God that when the uh, Daniel's friends and Daniel himself when they say let it be it God will deliver us God is backing it up every time because God backs up when you speak words of faith God will back them up and so when, when God spoke to me personally, Igor, you can share that faith. God spoke to me that there, there is somebody in this place and there's somebody everywhere that's struggling with a, something in their life. Uh, they have a friend who's struggling with something in their life. And what God says you could simply do is, 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 is simply proclaim victory in that person's life in Jesus' name before God has even won give credit to God before God has even done any works in their lives because through, through your faith you know a person can be saved but through your faith like this centurion who healed who God he uh, who, whose servant God healed God can do miracles in their lives so no 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 matter no matter what circumstance your friend or somebody you know or somebody you might love is struggling with God says you can proclaim words of victory with faith and I have your back behind those words and a lot of times we might expect when we speak words of victory not to be thrown into the dance of the lines because I have just spoken the words of victory but it's not that it's not that you avoided the dance of the lines that shows people that your God is a living God but it's the getting out alive from the dance of the lions that shows that you're a living God with if, if you come in with an expectation into your friend's life says hey God is going to overcome your circumstance just watch him do it I have faith I'm praying for you and you personally think oh look I just prayed for him and he's not going to go through the circumstance no it will happen and they may feel discomfort for you for a few minutes until God 
until God does his works in their lives because you just said something that is not yet done but if you keep your faith to it God stands behind your faith because God has the back of people who speak faithful words that is just a simple other way you can share your faith 